Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. Today we are going to learn a very interesting modifier in 3ds Max, which is noise. Now, what exactly noise modifier do? Noise modifier actually creates a random shape by affecting the vertex of the geometry in three axes like x, y, and z. It actually modulates the three. Uh, it actually modulates the uh, vertex of the geometries in a very random way to uh, create a you know or the, a very rough surface or uh, maybe a surface pattern that is uh, not uh, very regular. Okay, so <clears throat> I have uh, for that uh, for the modifier I have created three different kind of objects. One is a plane, one a sphere, and a cube or box and three of them will be provided one single noise modifier applying that from the modifier list and to the plane okay now if I select the objects you can see the uh, noise modifier has been applied on the on top of the uh, geometry and in the parameter rollout you can see there are three segments one is noise another one is strength and another one is uh, animation now by default as I uh, said earlier that it actually modulates uh, a, a randomness uh, into the into the vertex level and so it's very important that your object has some vertex values otherwise it won't work now to see this I can see this my box has no segments it's a very minimal segments and the uh, geometry of uh, uh, sphere is, has the by default uh, segment values over there it's 32 segments Oops. okay and my plane has a very uh, very small amount of segments oh, sorry I have increased that it's by default it's uh, around uh, let's say four general okay so these are the three different kind of object with three different kind of segment values which means the three different kind of number of vertex and I'm like right now applying applied already applied the noise but by just only applying the noise a modifier you can you cannot see any kind of effect uh, actually happening because your strength value of this noise is uh, actually to zero so three different axes you you can increase the values over here like this but you can see that there is no effect happening on the box because that box don't have any kind of uh, uh, segment values whereas if I increase my strength on the sphere it has uh, a very little effect which is uh, almost not noticeable now what is the reason is I'm just coming in okay uh, come to the uh, plain part and if you increase the x y and z value you won't see still effect until unless you hit z because it, it cannot create that much of uh, randomness on the z it's a y axis because uh, that is a kind of a, a very flat surface so I can only see a noticeable amount of uh, movement when I'm using my z axis strength now why this is happening and still it's not, not that much uh, of an uh, effi effect now for that reason we have to look after for the other parameters of the noise like it's have a scale value of a very higher that is 100 I mean that's very huge because 100 value of the scale is actually produces a very smoother results of uh, noise which uh, won't give you a, uh, a very rough uh, roughness around the surface so you have to decrease the scale value oops that's too much okay okay that's so so by reducing the scale value you can immediately see that the effect is coming out okay so scaling is a very important one so you have to remember that you, you when you are uh, creating any any uh, noise uh, and you are not seeing any kind of effect uh, look out for this scale value if it's too high then uh, your effect will not be seen okay the 
now right now you can see the uh, in case of my box that uh, my noise have don't kind of uh, have any kind of effect because of the segments if I uh, increase my segments and then go to the scale value and reduce it now you can see this uh, is a very a great amount of noise is coming out coming up so it's uh, absolutely depend on uh, very different kind of uh, uh, parameters that you are working with and the same thing happening with the uh, you know the plane also because plane have some values best oops it's very very high very high okay fine you sometimes you really don't want to you know uh, use the X or Y effect only the Z will, might be your you know uh, target okay uh, go to the next phase and uh, there is an option that's called fractal which is actually create fractal noise which is a very rough and jaggy surfaces uh, like it uh, like this you can see the moment you turn off turn on the uh, fractal it actually switch on two different options one is a roughness and one another one is iteration now what is a what is these two options comes to play now the roughness is absolutely uh, clear by its naming that's it's uh, already uh, it's actually creates a uh, more rough if you if you want you can see it's very rough very flat and very pointy you know uh, kind of uh, uh, shape will come out and if you reduce the uh, amount of roughness it you will actually get a, a little bit of smoother uh, kind of uh, corners so <clears throat> uh, it's a uh, you know it's uh, it's very uh, useful sometimes if you want really hard or very sharp surfaces uh, from any kind of crystal or something so that will be handy. Now, iteration value is uh, is a kind of a very tricky one. It's a lower value is a, a one, and the upper value is a ten. So iteration is also the fract amount of the fractal that is actually you are using. And if you completely reduce uh, to to the iteration value to one, it means actually uh, you are not using any kind of fractal value. So Reducing it to uh, reducing the iteration value to one is actually you are not using the fractal. So remember that by default value is, uh, is actually oops the by default value of the iteration is actually six. So if you want kind of a more uh, fractalness, you have to increase the iteration and also the roughness to see the effect comes to play. Okay, I've already talked about the strength. Now let's come up the animation part. Now, what is the animation over here? You can see that's the animation in the animation section. You have already uh, two different options. One is a frequency, and one is phase. And phase have the spinner of the phase has already been animated because uh, you can see it's actually you know you cannot uh, I mean it's uh, you cannot see the effect right now because though it's a phase value have some animated values but you haven't turned on the animated noise the moment you animate we switch on the animate noise you can see the animation is actually happening if you scrub through the timeline you can see the animation is happening it's kind of a ripple kind of an effect and it's very useful for some kind of water bodies that you create some pond or something or maybe a, a kind of a tank a water tank or maybe a swimming pool or something to um, uh, you know it's, it's a very very rough kind of a calculation but still it's uh, sometimes very effective and uh, uh, very useful also to create a very uh, easy uh, and very time saving kind of a water body so I have uh, to give you an example I have uh, created one single object you cannot see the water part over here because it has some uh, transparency values over here and if you render this you can see the water body is actually coming up so it's very effective to creating uh, for creating this kind of water effects uh, though it's uh, uh, it has some material with the ray trace if you select this and go to the material editor you can see it's a, a ray trace kind of a effect actually I put a reflection and refraction also for creating that water and also the uh, 
the other and switch on the animated noise so that uh, if you if you create a batch render or, or a, a sequence render you can see the uh, animation is actually happening okay uh, so there is another two option very small one but very effective one for just gonna turn off this uh, water body spool and I'm just pulling these three objects over here okay so there's another two options that has very important for the noise that is uh, one is a gizmo and it's a center and what is a gizmo and center is now if you go to the gizmo it's actually you know you can travel you can uh, move the gizmo according to your requirement also though that that kind of effect can be achieved so if you want randomness of this uh, noise you can uh, get that from the seed value it, it, it will give you a very uh, random starting point of your animation noise and though you can move your you know, you know uh, the gizmo from your object and there's another one is that is center because uh, it's very useful sometimes if you hit the center from a lower kind of uh, way and if you then if you move on on the effect now your your values are actually calculating from this particular center so it's sometimes it, you see you don't see any kind of direct effect from it but the calculations actually happening is absolutely different than the calculation you are intending from the base of that particular object okay so that's it so these are the options that you actually can uh, play with the noise modifier and it's very effective uh, for you can see this kind of uh, uh, creating this kind of uh, some kind of effect that is a, a very random surface so hope you enjoy this please subscribe to our uh, youtube channel and follow us on twitter and facebook page to update it different uh, informations and also our upcoming tutorials so hope you enjoy this thank you very much